Hey everybody, uh, I'm sitting on the floor here in my living room and I thought I'd do a quick vid. It may be a quick vid, we'll see. But um, basically, this is usually what I carry my army in when I go to the club to play. And it's not been an issue uh, because I'm self-aware of it being in my trunk and stuff like that. So, um, it always makes it there and back just fine. Uh, but it's uh, Saturday morning. Uh, unfortunately, I got a ride, and uh, so the t uh, toolbox ended up getting jostled around in the trunk of the vehicle that I got a ride home in with. So, I thought, would, I thought I'd share with you the potential horror that might arrive from such a situation. Now, this was strapped up on top. Surprisingly, this box didn't come loose and get all over the place because this is where I have all my dice so that would have been really nasty if that got lost uh, loose in the trunk when it was bouncing around and, and this one just has uh, tokens and stuff for reminders like uh, fight phase and um, fallback and stuff like that so and uh, this was strapped to the top of it with a carrying strap and these are usually just um, my troop choices so um, you can see that not really a big issue for me the way how I carry my troops so I'm not really concerned about them um, what I am concerned about is that there's 20 models in here that are commissioned models to be painted and I brought them along um, Friday the, the, the game because um, uh, so that the person who commissioned them could use them that night gaming and then I took them back to finish working on them. So that's the main concern is to find out how they turned out in this ordeal. So let's open it up and those guys in question were all in here. All 20 models were in this spot. They're not there anymore. They're kind of in this area here in this mass so um, let's just see if we can first find them all unfortunately this it's like probably a prelude to things to come but when the player was playing with these models we had them up on a on a building and every time the table got knocked or bounced or whatever something happened to the train that they were on they kept on falling down I was kind of worried about this guy I was hoping he didn't get um, I was hoping he wouldn't get the antennas and stuff bent and broken off shape so that's good looking good so far for these guys maybe I should do a macro it might turn out better all right, so we're in macro now. All right. Most of the Dark Elder models in here too are mostly all warriors. I do like my, my warriors, that's for sure. That one looks like it turned out okay. So we've got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we got half of them so far. So, and they're looking pretty good as far as for um, commission work. Uh, it's my first commission. He's looking pretty good. These are all um, repurposed models. I think they're, they're, they're they are 30k models, but uh, the owner of the models is using them as cultists. Of some sort with a sword. I 
I'm expecting out of my out of my old models that are in here, or the metal ones, I think I'm gonna probably have to be re-gluing all of those once I find them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we need, got, need two more. Whoa, they're way over here. All right, there's one. And two. Well, it looks like the Looks like these models turned out okay. We'll go ahead and, and uh, we'll get them out of here and get them into where I've been working on them. So that's a that's a good thing that uh, the other person's models didn't get banged up that I would have to re-glue. So what our destruction is here? Metal model. Uh, like I said, most of these are just all warriors, so I did have got a Drazer model in there. One of the old, well, the only model type that they have for Drazer. Fortunately, I have two two copies of that. Uh, more warriors, more warriors, more warriors. I had three HQ. Oh, see, here's one. We got an HQ without his arm. Nope, and there's the HQ. He's right here. So he's missing. His arm has to be re-glued. He's all metal. One of the old first and second edition Archons. Let's see. Homunculus, he's all one one piece, so pretty good. Um, surprising, it's fine crap too, so it held up. Because uh, fine crap will break like crazy. Old metal model, metal model, metal mandrakes. These uh, arms tend to break off quite a bit with the metal mandrakes. Same thing with the fine crap ones. Here's another metal archon that survived. Um, unfortunately, I don't see the vial yet. She's my main archon. Uh, fine crap. Let, let me in. I uh, made it through okay. Mm, some witches in here. Another fine crap mandrake. Warrior. Warrior. Oh, I don't, I don't see the bottle. Metal witch. Metal witch. Fine crap. Oh, there's the vial. Does she have otter claws? She does. She made it through okay. Those chips are already there. I gotta touch her up. But yeah, she made it out all right. So, got a guy here missing his gun. So it looks like the rest of the warriors and stuff in here turned out okay. Mandrakes, they uh, tend to fall apart. So again, I'm not really concerned with that. Uh, but let's find out what happened to the vehicles. Dun dun dun! And we got oh, I think we got like maybe 20 vehicles in here. So the main concern is the old ones. They uh, these parts here tend to break off quite a bit. I have one that's missing it already. That one looks okay. Here's the one I mentioned that has it broken off already. That's been like that for a while. Let's see here, one of the newer models that isn't complete yet because it doesn't have the shock prowl. Um, I'm not going to put the ether sails on it because I think it's like the stupidest idea for a sci fi model. I'm totally not on the Flash Gordon bit. Uh, so this thing looks fine. Old Raider looks good. Like I said, as long as as long as these parts here turn out all right, we're we're cool. Because uh, once they break, they don't tend to stay glued unless you use cement and weld them. But even then, after cementing them, they tend to still break apart. Because I've already that one that's already been broken. I've 
used cement on that a few times and it still has broken away. And looking good on that one. Uh oh, missing side sail. I think I've already been missing that side sail. And painted red one because of a uh, tournament. My black one that I, I usually use as my Ravenger. That turned out okay. And a Venom. I was painting it up to be a Mikuloi, a Coven Venom. So I need to get another Venom so I can paint it up for the for the vial for a custom ride. Another Raider turned out okay. I gotta find my models for the Riders yet. I don't know where they went off to for these older kits. Never bothered to put them on. And now this one, I'm sure got banged up pretty good. Let's see here. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. This one I didn't put together. I bought second hand, so um, I'll probably be popping off this um, either cell rack anyways. But, um, yeah, that one turned out okay. This one I was going to make turn into the vile ride. Another one turned out okay. Good thing it's just all solid. Venom turned out okay. And then a Viper conversion to a Venom. And another Viper conversion to a Venom. And I guess that went to the old or the one that's not painted. And then, uh oh, something went flying around. And here's another um, Raider that's not complete yet. Painted red for tournament purposes. So, yeah, I think uh, we actually made out okay. Uh, like I said, the main concern was uh, was the commission models, and uh, they don't look like they got damaged at all. Um, maybe with being all packed in with uh, this bunch of models, they were saved. Who knows? But, yeah, um, so a little close to 15 minutes for this video. Not a, not a short video, but, um, oh well. Just thought I would share my semi-tragedy with you folks. And, um, hopefully there will be, uh, more battle, battle reports to come. I got a couple to post yet. I got to convert and post. And, um... So hopefully I'll be able to get some more in the future. Alright, thanks for watching.